Just so you know. Okay. Yeah, I remember last time this thing was making silly power on low boost. <laughs> I don't know what it you is got about ice this. In it? Or no, no okay. just water. I don't know what it is about this combo, but it's something. It, dude, it makes good power. I know. It I think it's really underestimated, power. honestly. Yeah. That those turbos are good. Yeah. So the turbo that's on this car is a VS Racing 98 118 paired with the Texas Speed 427. I have a. You know, a water intercooler, air to water intercooler on it, and we're running E90 for fuel. So we are on a power glide. It has an operator shifter so that it shifts on air. Dash isn't in it. Ignore it right now, but this is my wiring. It's coming along. This gets my heart pumping every time. Second pull, that one was on about 10 pounds, he said, or 15, I can't remember. But this combo is working really well. We made almost a dozen uh, already. We don't have lights. pounds of torque same thing a little lower yeah that, i hit the button and it didn't go so i hit it again and i was already in the throttle so it's oh, so it it. you want me to go grab ice yeah go grab some ice all right i'll be right back nate told me the car was breaking up and that's how we figured out the spark plug issue so we got ice in her we're gonna get her uh get her ripping <laughs> Breaking up again, huh? Yeah. Frick, dude. All right, now we're chasing up a breaking up issue. The car only made about 730 horsepower that run, so uh, with the fresh plugs, not sure what's going on now. Okay, so the car was breaking up on that pass, so we put some different plug wires on it. Nate didn't like the ones that were on there, so we're gonna see if it can hold them on there a little bit stronger, but check out this condensation from the ice. Thing is chilly, dog. guys that run was 968 horsepower with 1070 foot pounds of torque i would say plug wires made a difference eh now you know why i said i don't like those i don't want to talk about it <laughs> <laughs> so the, the good news is yeah. you don't have to change the coils so. i know so here's the deal guys my buddy brian who you might probably seen before he drives that super sick mega truck with the pro charger on it he gave me these ceramic plug wires, which I was really excited about. But Nate's like, hey dude, I don't really trust these things. Um, you're probably gonna have to go to smart coils. So we had an extra set of plug wires laying around and we hooked them up and the car seemed to do a pretty solid pull that time around. So fingers crossed. I don't want to switch to smart coils because of wiring and I want to rewire power wires and they're on back order and we don't have a lot of time when you get this car to the track and blah, 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 blah. So that's a sigh of relief. Dude, you should have seen the fire over here. What I let blue, off. Blue flames. <laughs> Super sick. <laughs>
Yo, people, let's see what she's doing. Brother, she made 1113 horsepower with 1213 foot pounds of torque. What you running there, bud? That was 15 pounds. That's it? That's it, dude. Bro, what? This is like a 1400 horsepower car. Oh, yeah, all day, dude. That turbo's, that's what I'm saying. Oh, turbo's my serious. God. Think about that. This thing's making 1100 horsepower on 15 pounds. My car <laughs> going down the track, I'm 38 pounds. What? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it 38 is. 38 pounds it... would be insane. We'd be going to the moon. Yeah. I need to get that uh, Dr. Tunamall launch on here. That What was that, 22 pounds you're leaving on? Yeah, listen, bud, your chassis's not... <laughs> the way that chassis set up is in this thing... Hey, unibody, bro. You'll flip over like the blazer. Unibody. Manifold air temp, 97 degrees at the end of the run. Not, not bad, too, that not bad. bad Especially how hot that turbo is, yeah. man. I mean, Everything else is pretty like cool right now. Engine temp, 157, manifold air temp, I mean, temp, that's, that's a so. new record dyno for this car. We were like, last we time? crested a thousand after like eight poles, and that was on the old turbo, though. Yeah. So. Oh, no, we had this turbo. Oh, no, we didn't. Mm, no, because no, I put this on yeah. right before that seven second pass, yeah. and we didn't dyno it. No. Wowzers. Well, you tell me where you want to stop. I'm I'm happy right here. Okay. I'm happy right yeah, here. Yeah, everything looks good. I'm going to trim a little bit of fuel out of it. Okay. Actually, I'm probably, it's about 10%, so I'm going to leave it because there's no real load on the dyno. So we'll run it at the track and then see where the fuel is because it'll probably be closer on the track. Okay. So I told, I pulled that one to 7,600. Brother. My dog. <laughs> you guys, if you guys need any tuning, hit your boy up, all right? He ain't cheap, but he does a good job. Listen, I, I'm not expensive. I don't charge outrageous prices, but... but it's reasonable for your skill set, yeah, right? You're paying, you're paying for the time. You're paying for the time. You're paying for the right guy to do it. Call her the Ruby Slayer. Oh, <laughs> bless him, bud. I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. Crawl before you walk. Crawl before you walk. This is 12 pounds, and that's 15 pounds. That's the difference. Damn, brother. Freaking moving. Oh yeah, dude. That, we're not even in the efficiency range of thing, really. No. Oh my god. Can you imagine it with another 15 pounds. <sighs> Get up around like 40, 45 pounds of boost. 45? <laughs> no, I think like 30, 32 on that thing would probably. Oh, you gotta leave done. some room for the scramble button. 15 on the scramble. <laughs> he thinks he has a scramble button. I turned it off a long time ago because he just scrambles. It's all in his head, right? Yeah. It's like it felt really fast there. <laughs> it's like eating healthy for the first couple weeks, right, yeah. Nate? Yeah, yeah. It's all in your head. It's tough, dude. This is a cheeseburger. Guys, Nate's got the car. Okay, guys, Nate's got the car feeling a lot healthier. I feel so much more confident to hit the track now with it. We're making a lot of power on 15 pounds of boost. 1,100 horsepower, 1,200 foot-pounds of torque on E90. Iced her down. She is looking really good. So now that I feel a lot more comfortable, let's go rip this thing.